Hi friends, this question is asked in electrical gate exam. So we have a switch S1 and another switch S2. Now it is given that initially the switch S1 is closed and S2 is open and the inductor carries a current of 10 amperes and the capacitor is charged to a potential of 10 volt. Now at t equal to 0 the switch S1 is open and S2 is closed. We are asked to find out what is the voltage across this inductor and the current through the capacitor. Now we will draw the circuit to make it clear. For t less than 0, it is given that the switch S1 is closed. That means we have the switch S1 closed. So we can remove the resistance. We have the inductor which carries a current of 10 amps. Now we have the switch S2 which is open and the resistance and the capacitor. So this is the case for T less than 0. Now at T equal to 0 plus it is given that the switch S1 is open and S2 is closed. Now we can draw the circuit for T equal to 0. What happens? We have the switch S1 open. So the resistor will come into picture. Now we have S2 closed and we have the 10 ohm and the capacitor with charge plus 10 volt itself because the voltage across the capacitor cannot change ab abruptly. Similarly, the current through the inductor also cannot change suddenly. So this current is 10 amperes and we have 10 ohm here and another 10 ohm here. Now we are asked to find out what is the potential here and what is the current here for T equal to 0 plus. Now we have to make use of the property of the inductor that the current does not change suddenly. So whatever current that flows at t equal to 0 will flow at t equal to 0 plus also. Similarly, whatever voltage that appears across the capacitor will appear at t equal to 0 plus also. Now, we can write the KCL here and find out what is V. Now, minus 10 amperes coming here through the inductor. So, minus 10 plus we assume incoming current as negative. That's why minus 10 and outgoing current as positive. So the current flowing in this direction through 10 ohm will be V by 10 plus what is the current here? It will be V minus 10 by 10 that is 0. This is the KCL. Now from solving this we have 2V minus 10 equal to 100 that gives V equal to 100 plus 10, 110 by 2 that is 55 volts. So we have found out the potential here as 55 volts. Now what we need is the current. We have 55 volts here and 10 volt here. Then what will be the current? I will be say we will uh, we have assumed the current direction like this. So it will be 10 minus 55 by 10 that is minus 45 by 10 that is minus minus 4.5 amperes